The price of gold held firm against a rising US dollar on Thursday, and silver touched $23 per troy ounce for the first time in a week, despite new data saying the world's number one economy grew faster than analysts forecast at the end of 2023. Betting that the Federal Reserve will make its first cut to dollar interest rates at the March meeting rallied from yesterday's six-week low, hit after strong US PMI data, but the European Central Bank held its key interest rates unchanged at the highest in the Eurozone's two-decade history. Stock markets still rose across the board, with New York's S&P 500 index setting its fourth new all-time high in a row. Data from gold's number one consumer nation China today signalled its first full-year rise in household gold, buying on a rising price since 2017. Shanghai gold prices slipped overnight to one-month lows at 476 yuan per gram, down 1.5% from last week's new all-time high, as China's stock market extended its rebound from five-year lows following yesterday's monetary easing from the People's Bank. But after the USA said its GDP grew 3.3% on an annualized basis across the last three months of 2023, well ahead of the consensus 2.0% forecast, gold priced in the dollar rallied to fix around $2,024 per troy at Thursday afternoon's London benchmarking. Last week saw claims for US jobless benefits jump sharply, but layoffs remain close to record lows. Core PCE inflation, the Federal Reserve's preferred measure of the cost of living, slowed to 3.2% per year at the end of 2023, today's US GDP release said, down to the weakest since the end of 2021, and now more than two percentage points below the Fed's key interest rate for the first time since the end of 2007, eve of the global financial crisis. Rate cut expectations have somewhat slowed as we came into the year with elevated or high expectations. CNBC quotes one spread betting bookmakers analyst, warning that this leaves financial markets exposed to disappointments. But for now, gold is being left a little bit on its own because the market needs more data to judge whether it is at risk of a deeper correction or whether this level around $2,000 is strong enough in the short term. The gold price was meantime unchanged in euro terms at 1,857 euros, but ticked back towards yesterday's six-week low for UK investors at 1,586 pounds. With the death tolls rising in the Ukraine-Russia and Hamas-Israel wars, meanwhile, the head of the UK army has called for the government to prepare for conscription while warning of a potential war between NATO and Russia. US politicians yesterday voted 19 to 1 in favour of recommending that seized Russian assets are used to finance Ukraine's military defences. Danish shipping giant Maersk yesterday resuspended all its traffic through the Red Sea after a US Navy escort failed to deter Houthi attacks against one of its vessels. Several Chinese shipping lines have been redeploying their vessels to serve the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, reports the Financial Times, advertising their Beijing connections to avert Houthi attacks that have driven away rivals. Outpacing the gold and silver price Thursday, crude oil rose to two-month highs, breaking through $81 per barrel of Brent after new data overnight showed much heavier than expected U.S. energy demand. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.